Hello everyone, this is Baylor from ScoobyDooBeDoo.com and this is going to be part 3 on how to make a modern CMS. So you remember in part 2, we selected our database and we got all the rows from our database in reverse order. So now in this video screencast, we're going to go ahead and make it so you can get individual posts. So the first part of doing this is we're going to need to make a link to each post. So to do that, I'm going to go into our H1 tag. I'm going to add a link. It's going to be equal to uh, row ID. Remember, that's why we needed to get our ID in this. That's why we selected everything from the database. And we'll go ahead and finish our link here. And I'm sorry, this needs to have ID is equal to. So, uh, really do not know what happened. Oh, it's because I didn't finish my link. So right here, finish the link. I, nope, finished it too early. Sorry about that. that. That is confusing, isn't it? But anyway, so now these are links. If you look at the URL below at the bottom of the browser, you can see that it's linking to ID is equal to 3. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add index.php so it's easy to tell what that goes to. So now you can see we went to index.php question mark ID is equal to 3. So normally, when this code actually works, we're only going to get the content for our p third post, okay? So the first thing we need to do is we need to pass that ID variable through our getContent function. So what I'm going to do is delete everything here. I'm going to start my PHP tags again. I'm going to add if is set get ID, okay? And uh, I did my. I'm going to do our colon again, and I'm going to do um, object equals get content get ID. Okay, and we'll go ahead and stop that, and we'll add an else clause to this. So if there is not an ID present, then object is going to be equal to just get our content like normal. Okay. So, um, yep, just get our content. And we're going to end our if. So, there's that's it. That's all we have to do. And you'll notice that it still gets all our content. If I get rid of it, it still gets all our content. Everything still works successfully. Um, but we need to add our ID to this. But you'll notice that it's going to throw an error. Okay, missing argument. And that is because this is blank because I didn't specify anything here. So what we need to do is add an equal to blank. And that will get rid of that here. Okay, so at the top of this, I'm going to copy this code right here. And I'm going to add an if. Okay, and this can be equal to ID. And we're going to say if ID is not equal to blank. And that means that there was some sort of value. There is some number here. And what that's going to do is we're going to echo out. We're going to say we want to get our content from, or we want to get our row from the database where the ID is equal to ID. Now, if you're a PHP guru, you already, you just said, wait, that's, this is, this is, this is dangerous because now the database is it's you can get a hack you can get hacked with just that so we need to add ID is going to be equal to mysql uh, real escape string for our ID and that will remove any that will protect your database from getting hacked somewhat you're not uh, it's not impossible to get hacked you know I mean everybody gets hacked every once in a while um, but anyway so else if the ID is blank then we just want to do our normal query okay so that's what we're doing that's that's it so now if they is there is an ID watch this if I click on this I only get the third post if I click on this I only get the first post but if I leave it blank I get all the posts now what if I enter a number that does not exist like 58 nothing happens it's kind of awkward like uh, what do I do uh, something's wrong with the page um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say underneath this result if mysql num rows 
for our result is equal to zero or not equal to zero, then it's going to go ahead and run our while statement here. Okay? Uh, and then else, this is our else for this if. It's going to echo out a paragraph state saying like, uh-oh, this doesn't exist. Okay, and then finish our paragraph and stop that or close that off and end our if. Okay, so let's look at this. It says, uh oh, this doesn't exist. So we know that, well, we must have gone to something that does not exist. So, um, yeah, so that's, that's what we do. Now, what if we go to something that does exist? You'll notice that nothing happens because this is saying if MySQL num rows for our result, which counts everything that this query selected. So since nothing was selected because that was an invalid ID, it echoed out, uh oh, our error. Now, what if we are viewing an ID? We want to be able to easily go back to all the content. So to do that, I'm going to add another if below everything. If uh, ID is present and it is not equal to blank again, um, I have a better idea. We'll add inside of the if that we already have, we'll add a uh, return link, and it's going to be equal to um, a her f equals, actually, no, I'm going to put that in single quotes. A or her f equals index.php. And we're just going to say go back to content and finish our link. And at the very end of the file, we're going to echo out, or the end, very end of this function, we're going to echo out return. And this way, if, there, if we're viewing a single ID, then it's going to say go back to content. Otherwise, it's not going to say anything. So that's just a really easy way to go ahead and go to content and go back. So I'm going to put this inside a paragraph because it was kind of stuck sticking to the bottom of some of our content that we already had. So you can see now there's some space. It's really easy to go back and forth between the content. This video is over. Thanks for watching the video and goodbye.